is Dr. Nima Lakshmi. Today I am going to take the topic about moisture regain and moisture content. So introduction, the ability of fiber to take up the moisture is known as absorbency. The absorbency is expressed in the terms of moisture regain and moisture content. Both are represented in percentage. Moisture absorption depends on the chemical nature and physical arrangements of fiber. In Indian atmosphere, it is generally very humid. In these conditions, our moisture managed fabric with moisture absorption properties will ensure that the person wearing garment made of such fabric is very comfortable and feels very near to nature. Next one, moisture regain. It is defined as the percentage of the water present in the textile material of woven dry weight of the material. Measurements are done under standard testing conditions that is 70 plus or minus 2 degree Fahrenheit and 65 percentage plus or minus 2 percentage of relative humidity. So saturation regain is the moisture regain of the material at 95 to 100 percentage relative humidity. Here the formula used to measure the moisture regain is weight of the water in the material that is divided by oven dry weight of the material into 100. What is oven dry weight? The constant weight obtained by the drying textile materials at a specific temperature of 105 plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius. We can also say that this is the weight of the piece of after it is woven dry and all water has been removed. What is standard moisture regain? So the moisture absorbed by a particular weight sample in standard atmosphere after treating at 105 plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius is called standard moisture regain. It is also called efficient regain. Next one, moisture content. So moisture content is defined as a percentage of water present in the textile material of the total weight of the material and it is calculated by weight of water present in a material divided by total weight of the material into 100. So the percentage of moisture in a textile material brought into equilibrium with a standard atmosphere after partial dry. So calculated as percentage of the moisture free weight. I hope you all understand this session. Thank you. Hi everyone. Now we are going to about uh, Shirley trash analyzer. Introduction. The measurement of trash or non-lint content is very important in assessing the lint quality of cotton sample. So the Shirley Analyzer, a laboratory machine developed at the Shirley Institute, Manchester, England. It provides an effective means for both quantitative and qualitative analysis of foreign matters in cotton lint. So the Shirley Analyzer separates the trash from the lint with a minimum of fiber loss. This is probably the nearest approach to perfect separation of lint and foreign matters that has yet been developed. Technical specifications. The sample size uh, should be 50 or 100 grams per test. Measuring principle, buoyancy separation principle and operating rate of lint is 60 grams per minute. Micro dust filtering stage is for fine cotton 150 micron, coarser cotton 300 micron. So main motor, the RPM of the main motor is 1440 and for the suction motor it should be 2880 and liquor speed is 1240 RPM. The speed roller of the RPM is 26. The balance accuracy is plus or minus 0.002 grams. The control system is micro computer based solid state electrical control system. Power supply should be 3 phase 220 watts AC at 50 hazards. The power consumption of the particular machine is 2000 watts. So it is applicable standard is ASTM D2812. Physical dimensions of the machine is size is 620 mm into 900 mm into 550 mm. The weight of the machine is 180 kgs. Parameters tested is lint content that is denoted by capital L in weight and percentage, trash content that is denoted by capital T in weight and percentage, invisible waste that will be denoted by capital letter W in weight and percentage. Features, compact arrow dynamic shape, silent operation and non-polluting nature, boost laboratory environment, digital monitor based and user friendly operating system, 
solid state control electrical system to enhance operator safety. Working principles of Shirley trash analysis is that Shirley analyzer works on the principles of buoyancy separation that is air flotation principle by air currents. The Shirley analyzer consists of a feed roller licking the cylinder and a bowler to open the fibers and separate lint and trash. So the cotton is fed slowly to the liquoring and it is broken up. The air blast carries the lint around the bottom of the flow plate and up to the condenser. So the trash and heavy particles drops into the waste chamber. The machine is so constructed and that only raw cotton but also various waste products can be analyzed. The working is similar that of a miniature carding machines. The working is similar that of miniature of carding machine. Clean the instruction and the containers. The working is similar that of a miniature of carding machine. Clean the instrument and the containers. Shake the specimen so that the large particles of the foreign matters, example, husk, leaves, stem particles, metal particles, etc., which may otherwise damage the machines or removed from the specimen. Keep these droppings separately. Open out the hard lumps of fibers if present. Press, spread the specimens on the feed plate in the form of an even layer. Next, start the machine and let the trash and lint collect in the respective compartments. Take out the lint from the lint chamber and pass it again through the machines without disturbing the discarded matter in the second chamber. Stop the machines and collect the lint that is L1 from the lint chamber and keep it in a separate container. Remove all the discarded particles containing lint from the tray and settling chamber and pass it through the machine. Next step is collect the lint L2 and keep it in a separate chamber. Collect all the discarded matter that is T1 in a tray, settling chamber and any seeds clinking to the wires of the liquor in and in the cylinder of the combined table. Weight the discarded matter T1 to an accuracy of 100, gram, 100 milligrams and if the weight is less than 100, if the weight is less than 10 gram, weight to an accuracy of 10 mg which contains lint again through the machines and ignore the discarded matter collector. So collect the lint L3 and keep it in a separate container. Weight the lint L3 to an accuracy of 10 mg. So now combine all the portions of lint L1, L2 and L3 and weight to an accuracy of 10 mg.